We're back in the chalk hills of the Chilterns, south of Wendover, where the route of the railway of High Speed 2 threads its way through fields, hedgerows and farm tracks. Here in the valley of the Misbourne, you'll recall from last year our first flyover of the Wendover Dean Viaduct, steel beams poised, enormous piers rising, farmland disrupted but hopeful. Today, your new drone footage intercuts with that earlier view, offering a side-by-side -side of progress. The skies are grey, but that simply sharpens our view of the structure, meeting landscape. In the next few minutes, we'll explore where the viaduct is, what it does, and how far it's come over the past year, and what still lies ahead, all seen through the lens of my drone. Cast your mind back. Last year the site lay open. Piers partially formed, large cranes in motion, fields disturbed, hedgerows removed and farm tracks altered. Today we see a different story. The viaduct spans roughly 450 metres. It carries the twin tracks of HS2 across farmland. Access routes, gently rolling fields, not a motorway, not an urban corridor. Because of the setting, the challenge and the ambition are different. To build large, yes, but to build sensitively, elegantly, and in harmony with the land. In last year's footage, you might see a skeletal form. In this year's, you'll notice a more coherent shape, the deck more clearly defined, the piers sharper, the land beginning to settle around it. Let's zoom in on the piers. Last year the tallest supports were rising up, scaffolding still in place, their bases surrounded by earthworks and diverted farm tracks. Now many of those hollow precast concrete shells are filled, their exteriors finished, the site tidied around their feet. Some of these piers reach up to 14 metres high, the variable heights and spacing are deliberate, designed to follow the contour of the land. Reflect field boundaries and hedgerows. Minimise intrusion on views. Now we turn to the deck, the span that carries the future high-speed tracks. Last year, you might have seen steel beams being delivered at night, temporary supports, and yet to take its full form. Today, the deck of the Wendover Dean Viaduct uses a remarkable double composite construction. Two weathering steel beams sandwiched between layers of reinforced concrete. This creates a super strong yet surprisingly slender span. The steel weathers to a russet brown harmonizing with the land. Concrete parapet forms a horizontal band visually lightening the structure. In last year's footage you may have seen a deck in assembly. In this year's you're witnessing the nearly complete span more resolved in shape, more present in the landscape. One note of caution, although the site is rural and not crossing any major road, this deck was still assembled and moved into place in stages. Last year, field boundaries were stripped, access diverted, hedgerows missing, farmland in transit. Today you'll see hedgerows being reinstated, field edges prepared for planting, farm tracks reopened. The project documentation states that after construction, the historic field boundaries will be recreated, new plantings of oak, beech, hazel and wild cherry set out. This is not just infrastructure being imposed, it's a negotiation between engineering ambition and agricultural life. So what remains to be done? While the main structure of the viaduct is largely in place, the next phase involves more than just metal on concrete. Surfacing, installation of track bed, overhead electrification equipment, noise and safety barriers, and final landscaping and planting remain. From last year, you might spot that the deck was still in motion. This year it settled, but we are still awaiting the trains. The Wendover Dean Viaduct will be part of the HS2 line, connecting London and the main lines and beyond giving speed, capacity and future connectivity.
Yet here, in this particular place, the story is of fitting that future into the land and the farm, not least into the daily lives of people who live beside it. When the trains do thunder across this structure in years to come, we may forget the moment of construction, but for now the Wendover Dean Viaduct stands as a meeting place of engineering and earth, of movement and stillness, of ambition and landscape. Thank you for joining me on this journey from then to now, until our next exploration. This has been the Wendover Dean Viaduct in progress. 2024 to 2025. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. A staggering 5% of viewers have subscribed. It would really help the channel grow if you did subscribe. We're so close to a thousand subscribers. Thanks.